Hello, my name is Troy, I'm bold, and I collect watches, and today I'm going to be reviewing my little beater, my trusty Casio MRW200H. This watch is an affordable beast, and I truly believe everybody needs to have one of these in their collection. I mean, come on, under 20 quid? Why not? While we are talking price, I actually managed to pick this up on Amazon early last year for under £10, and that was including the postage. How crazy is that? I'll pop a link in the description below and it'll be worth seeing if it crops up at that price again. And for that price, it was just too good of a deal to pass up on. Around that time, a lot of people were actually oil modding this. I'm not going to go into too much details on what this is because as quite frankly, I wasn't interested in modding this little chap. But if you do scour through YouTube, I'm sure you're going to find plenty of info on how and why you should probably do it. But back to my untouched and unscathed Au Natural MRW200H. And right off the bat, before I even get into specifications and whatnot, I'm going to say, leave this video and just go and buy one. But if you're still undecided, then please, let's carry on. It's that time again, so let's get measuring. As you can see it wears very well and here it is on my 7 inch wrist. When it comes to beta watches we always hear about having a G-Shock is the way to go and I agree to a point but a G-Shock is not for everybody. Before you troll me hear me out. Let's look at the sizes. Some G-Shocks out there are humongous and they won't be for someone with a smaller wrist but this MW200H I believe would look great on someone even with a 6 inch wrist. I'm now going to talk about the movement. It's of course a Casio Quartz. It's not a fancy mechanical piece, but it gets the job done and it does it very well. And it's still an important part of horological history. And I'm sure you'll agree that when it comes to Casio Quartz watches, they're hard to touch when it comes to reliability, accuracy and price. The movement is a three-handed day-date movement and the day is in Spanish and we have it also in English. The model takes the SR626SW battery and has an average three year battery life. And the accuracy of this watch should be plus or minus 20 seconds per month. That's the benefit of quartz, guys. So tell me, why such hate? Why such snobbery towards quartz? We move on to the hands now, and you'll see that the second hand hits each marker just as it should. And that, my friends, is as accurate as Robin Hood on archery practice. Casio have chosen to go with syringe style handset. The minute hand is long and slender, and the hour hand short and stubby. Reminds me of my pre and post lockdown figure. But it works and that's what counts. And we have some more Robin Hood vibes with that arrowhead second hand. All three hands have loom, and whilst we're on the subject of loom, let's see it. So the loom is pretty cool on this little guy. I for one like the fact that the numerals are loomed. It won't be the strongest or the longest lasting but hey it's sufficient and I won't hear a bad word about this little watch. If you agree with me then please like this video and hit the subscribe button. That would be great and believe me it really is appreciated. Remember guys I also have a 250 subscriber giveaway going on so please click above to see that video and remember you've got to be in it to win it. Let's flip him over and take a look at the case back. It's fitted with four tiny Phillips screws. This helps with its water resistancy. All our relevant specs are on the back, including the make and model and where the watch has been cased. In this instance, China and the origin of its movement, which is obviously Japan. We have a stainless steel back and confirmation of its water resistancy. We have a metal crown which pulls out and is guarded here by its resin crown guards and it grips and functions very well. When we pull the crown to its first position, if I spin it back to myself, it changes the date. And if I spin it forward, we get our date change. 
second position gives us our time setting function. According to Casio, the crystal is a resin that is resistant to breaking. I don't know how true that is, because I'm sure if I take a hammer to it, it's going to break. But let me tell you, I've dropped this a number of times and it hasn't cracked. So yeah, it's pretty decent. Not so great against scratches, but this has been beaten up, so I'm not going to be too judgmental of it. The strap again is that classic Casio resin. It has one keeper and it has a signed Casio buckle in black. There isn't too much to say, but it is very comfortable. And as a lot of Casio straps, it can be a right grime magnet. When it's time to wrap up this review, I would usually list the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, but I have nothing to say but positives about this watch. The only negative I could say is that I would love to have each and every colorway, but that's just my OCD. Again, thanks for watching guys, and remember, I'm an enthusiast, not an expert, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!